everyone. I'm Kazu Shimura. I'm from Dentsu, Tokyo. I'd like to talk about the possibilities of our creativity. I'm a creative director at an agency called Dentsu. We work on advertising, but there has been a lot of change over the past few years. This change is the expansion of creativity. We've seen a lot of change in our industry, but I think this is the biggest change. At least at my agency, creative people have been working on more and more projects that go beyond advertising, such as product development, business consulting, and business innovation. When you look at the whole process of the client business, advertising comes near the final stage of their business. We usually receive the brief at the beginning of the marketing phase, somewhere around here. But today, I'd like to discuss this part of the process, the seed phase. It's probably the most challenging part of the business and an area where we can actually use our creativity and skills we gained in advertising. If you can create a larger sheet, then the possibilities for the project and the business result will be greater at the final phase. There is the potential for our creativity here to push the business from the seed phase to the next stage. I'd like to call this seed creativity. So, as an example of this seed creativity, I'd like to share the story of the Open Road project, which is a business innovation project that we are working on for Toyota. Do you know this vehicle? Okay. This vehicle is called Toyota Aero, and it's a three-wheeled electric car that Toyota introduced at the Geneva Auto Show in 2030. Its maximum speed is 60 kilometers per hour. When you make a turn, it slants, but you never fall over because of its electric control system. Actually, you can't make it fall, even if you try. Our client is the future project development at Toyota. It is a team that works on innovative projects for Toyota, such as concept cars and electric mobility. We started working with this team in 2013. We were first assigned just to do a survey for this iRoad prototype to test drive it on public cloud and examine its potential for the market. Let me show you a video from our first public road test in Tokyo. From our first test drive, 
we found that all of our pilot users really enjoyed the unique and fun driving experience of the idol. But after the test drive, we found a big problem. Look at this picture. We didn't see this. This is real. Parking is very expensive in Tokyo, and here is a Nairo in a very expensive parking lot. This was in the middle of Tokyo during my test drive. I road users have to pay the same price as these big and expensive cars, even though they only use half the space. Will future customer be happy with this? The real issue was not the product itself. It was not about the car. We then rediscussed why the IRO was created in the first place. What values did it provide for customers? Was it just an eco-friendly car, or a fun-to-drive car, or a new mobility for old people? After the public road test, we were able to discover its true value from the customer's perspective. They are people who live in big cities with heavy traffic congestion and narrow street. The true value was with IRO. You have more freedom to drive in big cities like Tokyo. We then define our vision. Bring freedom to urban driving. With this vision, we launched the Open Road project the following year of the first test drive. To pursue this vision, we turned the Open Road project into a test pilot program. It was a new way of working for Toyota. For over a year, we recruited test pilot users from the public every month. We work together with the users to create and test new services for future launch. Here is Mr. Yanaka, chief engineer of IRO. あの、技術ね、開発するのに、そしてより車を進化させていくし、一方で僕らの想像を超えた楽しみ方とか、あの、思ってもみない、こういうとこいいねって言われたりとか、そういうのをもっと一個一個見つけて、そういうのを増やし
and move toward our vision. The project was about turning the iRoad from a concept car into a whole new platform. This was an invention for the iRoad. Let me introduce some of our service ideas. One of our ideas we tested was called SoundX. iRoad is an electric mobility, so it has no sound. But we thought it may be more fun to drive if there was sound. So we made a nap that creates real-time sound based on the actual driving data. Here is a video. The app enables the users to experience driving sounds just like a game. We also had an idea for customizing the idol to make it more personal for each driver. We developed a service that uses 3D printers to create a personalized parts from CAD data. Here is a video. このパネルをつけるともうアイロードがよりねあの自分のものだっていう感じが愛着がすごく増してとてもいい体験をさせていただきました。It took over 30 hours and cost about $5,000 to make. These services were nice to have. However, they were not very successful because they didn't change the lives of the users. And they were not related to the mission of the iRoad, which was to bring freedom to urban mobility. We realized that we truly had to understand the customer and provide the ideas that have value to them. We learned that we should go back to our vision where we started in the beginning of the open road project. 
So, we came back to the parking problem again. Parking is quite a serious problem in Tokyo. The parking costs are ridiculous. And there is no more space to make new parking lot. So, this is the uh, first example of seed creativity. Our idea uh, was small space parking. We created a new parking service. We connected small spaces in Tokyo that could be used for parking the aisle and created a network of individual parking spaces. Here is the video. Tokyo, a city where limited parking, ever-increasing parking costs, and strict regulations breed angst. Simply getting around town by car is no longer simple. So Toyota took a new approach to urban mobility. The ultra-compact, three-wheeled EV iRoad. Using the iRoad, we initiated the Open Road Project to bring freedom back to urban driving. Tokyo has scores of small unused spaces between buildings, under stairs, and at shop sides. These caught our attention. Landowners shared unused spaces, which we transformed into parking that ultimately evolved into a network. We had created a new kind of parking service. The iRoad collects driving and GPS data and sends it to a connected logging service. From our website, we offered Tokyo residents the opportunity to test the prototype vehicle and parking network. They enjoyed the iRoad as they zipped around town collecting driving data from various places. The data was uploaded onto the server and the iRoads became our sensors. With these, we gathered massive amounts of data to discover unused spaces to be converted into parking areas. With the iRoad driver's help, we were able to discover more and more spots for parking. After the service offering, the test pilot's monthly travel distance increased tenfold. When people around the world saw these small spaces, the iRoad's popularity surged. These may be small, unused spaces, but when used together, they change the way people move. Small spaces for big change. Open Road Project. <laughs> Thank you very much. Based on the sharing model, landowners provide unused spaces to iRoad users. iRoad users pay this for parking than regular parking spaces. And Toyota provides the service platform. The IRO is a win-win-win model for all. Our pilot drivers discovered a new small spaces as they drove around Tokyo. Their suggestions helped us improve our small space parking network. But some of their suggestions were too small, even for the IRA. After we launched this small space parking service, the driving distance of our pilot users grew by 10 times. It was very successful, and everyone was very happy. However, our success with the parking service led to a new problem. Can you guess? Body life. With more parking spaces, the driving distances grew, but the need for charging batteries also grew. 
batteries started dying while in use, and we had to tow away the iron left on the streets of Tokyo. This is the real picture. Our team was very busy during this time. This space is too big for the iron. <laughs> the iron's biggest asset is its compact size and its efficiency. A larger battery was not an option. Have you ever visited Tokyo? Tokyo has a lot of vending machines and outdoor signs, and so a lot of power outlet. But it is illegal to steal electricity even if you find a free outlet. We thought that this situation was an opportunity for innovation. So, we developed the Smilock algorithm, the second example of seed creativity. We wanted to increase power outlet for charging the iron, and our idea was to visualize the user data of electricity. But we also have a vision on a larger scale. Please take a look. Charge, use, recharge. Electricity is essential to our urban lifestyles. Wherever we go, there's electricity, but we don't always have access to it. It's not ours to take. This is an issue for ultra-compact electric vehicles. Our idea was to develop a system for sharing electricity so people can easily charge their devices. Smile Lock Outlet. We developed a small IoT module to attach to existing outlets around town. The module tracks who, when, where, and how much electricity is used for charging. With an application, users can unlock the outlet and charge. The electricity usage information is uploaded to a server and allows users to access their information anytime. In Tokyo, we recruited landowners willing to offer electrical sockets for use with the ultra-compact electric vehicles. In the future, anyone who needs to charge their devices will have access. Cities all over the world face this need for liberal access to electricity. A new way to share and use electricity. This algorithm doesn't have any complex technology to it. It's a product which has basic sensors and IoT features with a SIM card. So the production cost is not expensive. The point is, you don't have to use cutting edge technology for everything. It's about choosing the best kind of tech for your purpose. Let's hear from Mr. Suzuki, general manager at Toyota, on the key points of the project. Toyota いい車作りではあるんですが、スタートアップ企業さんとか、エージェンシーさんとか、いろんなステークホルダーの方のアイデアを集めて融合することによって、ハードだけではなくて移動する楽しさ、移動する新しい価値、便利さみたいなのを体
、まあ、2週間3 0キロしか走れなかった走行,走行距離がハードとサービスとセットですと例えば3 0 0キロまで伸びたとかですねあとお客様から大変印象的な声だったのはライフスタイルが変わったとあのアイロードとそういったサービスとセットで今まで車とか電車では行けなかったような街また出会えなかったような人たちと出会うことができて生活そのものが変わった豊かになったという声が非常に印象的でしたでこういったあのハードとサービスをセットでお客様のユーザーエクスペリエンスを提供するというのはアイロードだけではなくて元づくり会社であるトヨタそのものがまあ持っている可能性をもっと引き出すようなまあそういった気づきにつながったというふうに思っております。The Open Road Project is now its third year. The I Road was started as a concept car, but now it can be seen on the street of Tokyo as it is using by car sharing service. And I'm sure. New problem will pop up. It's not easy to predict future problems, but the important thing for seed creativity is to stay focused on your vision. It will help you overcome all the problems along the way and help you come up with new ideas and get you one step closer to your goal. So, to wrap up, I think we can apply our advertising creativity to seed creativity in these three approaches creativity to discover, creativity to invent, creativity to deliver. The first one is creativity to discover. For example, in the Open Road project, the key to the project. Was a parking problem. This was a good discovery idea that came from the agency. There w a s a whole a lot of problems, but the agency focused on the parking problem and defined the mission of the project. It was a good discovery from the user's perspective, which led to the idea. To make a comparison, business owners tend to think from a business or their product. Engineers tend to think from a technology. Consulting firms tend to think from the market. It's in their DNA. They all have their strengths. As creatives, we understand the user's perspective. And this is our advantage. We've all been trained to think from the user's perspective to move them in advertising, and we can naturally do this. In innovation, there are not so many players with this perspective. So it's an opportunity for us. Next is creativity. To invent. In particular, we developed many services in our project, and they are also business inventions. We didn't use cutting edge technology for everything, but we combined technology that exists to fit the purpose. So, technology is a wonderful thing, but We agency creative can use our ideas on how to use technology. This is also one of our strengths that we have developed through working on Arbabite. As agency creatives, we have the ability to solve the problem with ideas. We can provide Solution ideas and in business seed phases, solution ideas are inventions. Invention like, sounds like a big word, but invention can be created by combining different things without using the latest technology. And finally, creativity to deliver. 
As we saw in the open road project, the final outputs are very different from jobs that both the agency and the client would do regularly by themselves. The idea was born as a result of going through the seed creativity stages of discovery and inventions. And in order to deliver all these different kind of ideas, it is important to keep your team flexible. You should have a specialist that best fit each idea you are trying to deliver. In the open law project, we have different members joining in for each idea. We work with other companies, startups, governments, consultants, and even lawyers. In our regular jobs, agency creatives usually work with film production or digital production or similar. But in the area of seed creativity, the output changes drastically according to the idea. So you need to your creative to deliver, <laughs> use your creativity to deliver in the way you organize that team. Let's hear from Mr. Suzuki. 進化地創造するイノベーションを起こすっていう際に当然ながらトヨタの試験だけでは無理でいろんなあの価値観、まあ、いろんなバックボーン、まあ、いろんなネットワークを持った方々とつながることによって生まれてると思ってますでそれも単にこの業務を委託するという関係だけではなくて実際にその方、まあ、AJC の方とあの同じ目線で例えば同じオフィスフロアで一緒に仕事をしながら問題意識すらも共有化しお互いのその価値観や文化の違いすらも深くこう洞察し、まあ、そういった中でだけど違う価値観だったり知見を持つ者同士がこう化学反応を起こすことによって初めて新しいことが起こるというふうに感じております。So don't hesitate to work with new people and with your client instead of for your client. You can become a catalyst and lead the project with your vision and ideas. Then innovation can happen. Why don't you try going beyond advertising and have a go at the seed creativity, explore new areas? Then our work should become more interesting and fun. Thank you.